Hey, welcome back Airsofters. So here in this video, we're going to be talking about the new SR25 gears from Retro Arms. And we're going to compare them to these gears that I did in an earlier video. I'll leave a card right up here if you want to check that out. That compares this gear set right here to these two gear sets. The OEM and the SHS slash rocket gear sets that has the little ball bearing right here. In a previous video, we covered that... On all these SHS and rocket sector gears, the tappet plate pickup pin right here picks up the tappet plate too soon and causes tappet plate PME. In that previous video, we tested this gear set to the SHS and OEM gear sets and found that the pin placement for the tappet plate makes a huge difference in FPS simply through tappet plate timing. So for today, I'm going to compare this gear set that we did in an earlier video to the all new Retro Arms Pandora SR25 gears and see how they compare. What we're going to compare is simply the FPS. The OEM pickup pin is a few degrees closer to the pickup tooth than the Retro Arms sector gear. Now if we look at the Retro Arms gear, you'll notice that the pickup pin is a few degrees further from the piston pickup tooth than the OEM which may affect the tappet plate timing depending on how fast the cycle rate is of your airsoft gun. Now, the improved gear set from the previous video has its pin right under the second tooth from the pickup side, as you can see right here. So the corner results will give you an idea how this pin placement can affect the FPS average inconsistency. First, I'm gonna show you the chrono results on the OEM gear set of the uh, SEMA SR25. And then I'm going to show you the chrono results of the improved gear set from my previous video. And we're going to get 10 shots off and see how the FPS consistency is with the OEM gear set. And that was with a 11.1 .1 LiPo battery. Okay, got the 11.1 .1 LiPo in this thing, as well as that fast motor that we tested previously with the SHS and Rocket Gears and 0.20 gram BBs. And to show you, here is Semi. Damn, we got a FPS increase. All right, flipping it over to full auto. Let's see if it PMEs with a tap plate on full auto. Here we go. Yeah, check that out, guys. I'm going to go ahead and shim the Pandora gears in this SEMA Platinum SR25. And the only thing we're changing now is the gear set. That way we're comparing apples to apples from the previous video of these previous three sets. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and shim them up and get them in the gearbox so for those who are using these gears or going to use these gears in a sema platinum you're gonna have to change out your bottom bushings or bearings to something that sits more flush with the gearbox because when you put pandora gears inside your sema the teeth will rub just barely on the bushing here because it's raised up and it's not flush with the gearbox in this case since i had the tools available to me i used my mill to make this bushing and this bushing nice and flush because i don't intend on spending very much money on upgrading this airsoft gun this is just my test bench but anyways this is going to also allow me to shim these gears further down if i need to with that being said i also found that there is absolutely no wiggle room to shim the sector in this gearbox of these platinums these pandora gears bottom right here to the top right here in front of my fingernail is spaced out so much so that as soon as you put your gearbox shell on it almost binds on the gears it could still free spin once you put your screws in so i personally don't like that i like to be able to shim my gears so it was mainly because of these bushings if you get easel bearings for example like one of these which can handle up to a m190 spring because i've tested it and in dsgs you can use this bearing here and it sits nice and flush in the gearbox which gives you more room to shim i would even go as far as replacing these ones but if you like your solid bushings by all means get a solid bushing that sits nice and flat the recommendation if you want to go with solid bushings i would highly recommend going with the uh, retro arms solid bushings if you want to go down that route but i find that these easel bearings work better these are two and a half millimeter wide if you need some 
right on my website. Uh, you can get them individually, so you don't have to get all six. You can just get four of them. This bottom bearing right here, you don't need to replace it. It doesn't receive that much stress anyway, and I've never seen the bottom bearings go out, so you're perfectly fine with using that. If you want to save a little bit of money, I'll leave links in the description down below. With that out of the way, I'm going to finally put shim these gears, and hopefully what I did here works. If not, then I'll do the same thing to this side of the gearbox because I left it alone. All right, got the gearbox mostly back together. Gears are shimmed up. I ended up having to swap over to the Payrun version two hybrid electronic tree unit because I've been having issues with the factory one, but this won't change the performance of this SR25 whatsoever. So no need to worry there. It's not gonna affect any of the results. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the rest of this together. Everything else will stock. And we're gonna throw it in the SR25 and credit it and see what kind of results we get and compare them to the previously improved gear set in the previous video. I already tell you lefty Lucy, you got 0.2 gram BBs in, in this SR25 and we got our 11.1 lipo. 10 shots, here we go. That's not bad considering the stock internals minus the ETU and the gears, obviously, and the motor. It's looking good. Now we're gonna test full auto. Let's see if she PMEs. We do one more burst. That's yeah, not bad. For some reason, at the last shot from the full auto, it goes to 411. Previous gears set in the other video gained a little bit more FPS than this. But other than that, it stays right right around 400 FPS. So I'd say that tap and play PME is gone with this gear set as well. But I think the other gear set does a better job and sounds better. So guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the Pandora gear set from Retro Arms. If you liked what you've seen in this video and you made it this far, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're interested in having me build you an SR25, I'll leave a link down in the description below. I typically like to uh, tune these things up to a 40 gram BBs. So keep that in mind if you're looking to get an SR25 built by Wishtech Airsoft. Right here. With that out of the way, guys, thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you learned something. If you have any other suggestions for a future video, feel free to leave down in the comments below, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.